Guys, gals, my name is Luke. This is the Outdoor Gear Review. Today, I have the Hazard 4 Poncho Via to review. Now, I've been testing this out since November 2019, and I have quite a few things to say about it. Now, I purchased this with my own money for numerous reasons. For one, I have to be honest, I like the looks of this product. Two, there were no good reviews of this product online, and I wanted to change that because information is a good thing. To get the ball rolling, let me ask you all a question. What do you buy a poncho for? Pause this video, comment down below. Five, four, three, two, one. You buy a poncho so that you can stay dry from the elements. With that being said, should you buy this poncho to stay dry? Absolutely not. Folks, this is the weirdest aspect to this product. This is not waterproof. It is water resistant. It is not waterproof. And that fact truly blows my mind considering that this costs $140. $140. Hazard 4 claimed that this is used by the USA Special Forces. How true that claim is, I do not know. I cannot imagine US Special Forces using a product like this that doesn't offer them true protection. This is a soft shell poncho. It is 86% polyester, 14% spandex, and the inside liner is 100% polyester. And the weight of this bad boy is 2.3 pounds. Now let's talk about the form factor here for a second. The poncho is in its stowed form. Essentially it folds up and goes into its own front pocket. You are looking at 13 inches by 11 inches with a depth of around two and a half inches. In other words, this takes up a substantial amount of space inside of your pack. It does feature YKK zippers. And here's that front stow pocket. It has the YKK zipper, it has a flap with Velcro on that so it can stay shut. And I will go ahead and put this on. This does have many features that you would like to see in a waterproof poncho. Down at the bottoms, you have grommets, so you can pitch this as a tarp of sorts. Going up from the grommets, you have snaps. And these are not very good quality in my opinion. This one here has bent, and at times they can be extremely hard to get apart. So you have two on each side. See, there's a good example. That snap does not want to come undone. Anyways, once you have the snaps undone, you can swing back the poncho and essentially do what you need to do. Then you can bring it back. The chest pocket, also the stow pocket, when not being stowed, offers you a good amount of space inside of here for your gear. The thing you have to remember though is it's not waterproof. So don't stick anything inside of this that you don't want to get wet. You do have a large section of Velcro here for patches and whatnot. You have another section of Velcro on both arms. The opening for the poncho itself is very narrow, but it does zipper up. You have some Velcro and it basically covers that zipper. Now this is fully adjustable as you would expect as far as the hood goes. You can pull it up, zip it, Velcro, and then adjust it if you need to. Also on the back, you have a draw pull and some Velcro and also a large section of Velcro on the back. When it comes to the measurements for this, when you're wearing it, essentially it is 38 inches long and 50 inches wide. And when the poncho is fully extended, you're looking at 77 inches by 50 inches. The retail, as mentioned before, is $140. And this is available in numerous colors, including black, coyote, and OD green. I have already gone over quite a bit concerning this poncho, so let's jump to the review. I've been testing this out for quite a while and honestly, the negatives outweigh the pros, but let's go ahead and start with the pros anyway. The design of this overall is very good. If the quality was a little bit better, if this was actually waterproof, it would make for an awesome poncho. I do like the fact that it can be stowed into the center pocket and I will come back to this because it is also a negative. The soft shell material by itself is tough, and that's the general nature of this material. It's also somewhat stretchy, it's somewhat breathable, and when you're walking around with this, because it is a soft shell material, it is quiet. It makes very little noise. My footsteps are louder than this poncho. Another thing that I like about this poncho is that the size is right for me, but it may not be right for you. Because I'm a shorter guy, this fits me just about perfectly. And also, it fits over a pack very well. Again, if you're taller, this is not something that I recommend personally. You have plenty of Velcro all over this thing for patches and whatnot. I like the fact that you can easily just swing this aside, access your chest rig. That's neat. 
Another pro for this poncho is that the hood is very good in my opinion. There's plenty of adjustability here. You can get it to fit for you. And when it comes to the pros, unfortunately, that's pretty much it. Everything else I have to say is negative in regards to this product. And let's just focus on the waterproof aspect for a second. It is not waterproof in the least little bit. And the company knows this, they state this, but yet they tape the seams on the inside and they make sure to state that they're 100% waterproof seams. But what does it really matter when the material itself is not waterproof? How long can you wear this outside before it wets through? It really depends on the rain event. If it's a light mist, maybe an hour. If it's a moderate rain, maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes. In heavy rain, you will get soaking wet. Where does the water come in from? Everywhere. I've had water come from around the seams and through the material itself. Because it's not waterproof, it makes a very poor poncho. It makes a very poor shelter. Because of the size, again, it makes for a very poor shelter because it's not very big. For a poncho, this is very heavy. Also, it doesn't stow down to a small size at all. It takes up a ton of space inside of your pack. Next, this is very, very expensive. $140 retail price. In my opinion, it's just not worth it. Next up, stowing it in the front pocket can be an effort. This can be a chore. Now, unfortunately, Hazard 4 does not provide any instructions on how to neatly fold this and put it back, so you have to stuff it. You can fold it in weird ways and make it work, but it does take time. I don't understand who this was made for. Maybe those who want to look cool, maybe those who play airsoft, but for real outdoorsmen, outdoors women, for those in real world conditions, this simply does not make any sense. I have $2 ponchos made out of plastic that work so much better than this. $140. It just doesn't make any sense for a poncho that is not waterproof. You may be wondering if my experiences with this poncho are unique for me, and unfortunately, no. I went online, researched this, and found tons and tons of reviews where people had the same problems. Everybody likes the fact that it looks so cool, but it does not perform well for anyone really. Ultimately though, everyone, this is, in my opinion, a huge waste of money for this product. I'm not impressed in the least little bit, and I hope Susie never finds out how much I spent on this because <laughs> this thing is not very good. As a poncho, I do not plan to use this anymore. I like the fabric and I may use this in the back of my truck, essentially to cover up some gear that I have back there when I'm traveling. But as for a protective layer, this is very, very poor. I would highly recommend spending your hard earned money on something else. And with that being said, that is what the Outdoor Gear Review is here for. That is what my goal is. I want to provide you all with information so you all can make the best decisions for yourself. If you like this product, you understand that it's not waterproof, but you like the looks and you still want it, that's awesome for you. But if you're looking for a waterproof poncho, stay far, far away from this. This is simply terrible in many ways. Now I want to hear from you all. Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts about this poncho. What do you all think about the price? What do you all think about this product not being waterproof? If you all want to support a channel that is 100% agenda free, you can do so here with the Outdoor Gear Review through Patreon. Every bit of support is appreciated because there are no affiliate links with this channel, no kickbacks from companies, honest reviews only. If you have any questions, make sure to email me. Otherwise, I will see you all again soon. Strength and honor. See ya.